Hello everyone, welcome to Concept Sira. Today we are going to discuss another case slate based upon letter decoding, and we will see how we can approach this particular case slate in the most efficient manner. First of all, I will request you to try out this particular case slate on your own. Then we will discuss this particular case slate in detail. So let's get started and try to understand what exactly given to us in the case slate and how we can decode it. It is given to us the weight of each of five girls of a wrestling team and girls names are a b c d e so they are saying weight is a distinct integer so what we can say first of all number one weight is an integer and number two weight is distinct for each person further they are saying coach decided to check weights but in the weight machine numbers from 0 to 100 are not visible so we cannot see numbers from 0 to 100. So only we can see numbers which are more than 100. So he come up with some new idea and what idea was that. So he decided to weigh the girls in the group of three. So we are making the group of three and we are trying to calculate the weight of three girls together. And finally, they are giving some information about what weights we got. And finally, they are giving some clue and some inkling. So we have to use the clue and inkling and try to decode this particular case later. What are you supposed to understand from here? First of all, you have to understand from here, from the five girls, we are making group of three girls. So how many groups can be made? If number of girls are five and we have to make group of three, then how many groups can be made? So if we look for how many groups can be made, we can directly write down number of groups should be equal to 5C3, which is equal to 10. So if we have five people, we can create 10 groups, which will contain three people. That's why we have 10 numbers here and each number is representing weight of group of three girls. So let's move further and look at how we can decode now this particular case slate. So if we put in this particular manner, so we can say from here, if this 106 is representing A plus B plus C group of three people, then similarly, we can say this will represent something like that, which we are not sure about A plus C plus D and up to so on. These numbers are given to us here. One letter is here, one letter is here and finally one letter is here. So we can see from here, every weight is sum of three people and there are 10 observations. So if we count how many times we have counted each letter here, how we can decode that, you can see here A, A and A will come multiple times, B will come multiple times, C will come multiple times, similarly D and E will also come multiple times. But what is fixed here? The 3, 3, 3, the group 3, 3, 3 will be coming 10 times. So we can say total number of times A plus total number of times B plus total number of times C, D and E should be equal to 30. So when total A, B, C, D, E is equal to 30 and there are only five alphabets here. So we can see from here each alphabet will be coming six times. When five letters are coming 30 times, then each letter will come six times, which is 30 by five here. So immediately we can write the summation here. So this summation has to be 6 into A plus B plus C plus D plus E is equal to summation of all these numbers. And summation of all these numbers is equal to 1, 2, 7, 2. Now this number is equal to 1, 2, 7, 2. So we can write from here a plus B plus C plus D plus E is equal to 212. So we got the first equation from here. Now, after getting the first equation, look for other information. Other information is given to us. Weight of A is average of B and E. The meaning of this A will be lying between B and E. So A is equal to B plus E by 2. So 2A is equal to B plus E. And one more information is given to us. The coach also knows that E is heavier than C but lighter than D. But from the given information, we do not know who is the heaviest and who is the lightest. 
So from here, we cannot conclude anything. What we know from here, we know this particular equation and we know these three parameters. So let's put this particular in better manner and try to decode this question. Now we got to know from here, A is equal to this number. And uh, one more information we have, E is uh, heavier than C but lighter than D. And finally, if I assume weight of five girls are W1, W2, W3, W4 and W5, where W1 is the heaviest one and W5 is the lightest one. What we know from the previous equation, summation of all the weights is equal to 212. So we can write here W1 plus W2 plus W3 plus W4 plus W5 is equal to 212. Now if we look for group of three people which will be having heaviest weight, we can see from here heaviest three people are W1, W2, W3. So if we add these three people or these three weights, immediately we can get 146. Second heaviest has to be W1 plus W2 plus W4. This one has to be the second heaviest. So we can get from here W1 plus W2 plus W4 should be equal to 142. Now if we look for lightest weight. We have to add weight of three lightest people. So we can add W3, W4 and W5. And if we do so, we are supposed to get 106 from here. And we got 106. If you look at second lightest here, for second lightest, we have to add W5, W4 and W2 and we got here 116 here. Now, after getting this, we know this particular equation and we know this equation and clubbing with the remaining equation, we can individually get values of W1, W2, W3, W4 and W5. Now, if you see these two equations from here, from this equation, we know W1 plus W2 plus W3, which we can put here. And if we do so, we supposed to get W4 plus W5, which will be equal to 66, 212 minus 46. Now, if we got W4, W5, similarly, we can get here W1 plus W2 while putting the value of W3 plus W4 plus W5 which is 106 if we subtract 106 from 212 we supposed to get here 106 now almost question is over because we know W4 plus W5 if we put here we can get the value of W2 and if we get the value of W2, which comes out to be 116 minus 66, which is 50 here. So W2 has to be 50. Once you got W2 here, you can find out W1 also here. So W1 has to be 106 minus 50, which comes out to be 56 here. Now, if we put value of W1, W2 here, we will get here W3. So if we subtract 106 from 146, we will be getting here 40. So W3 has to be 40 here. As well as if you put value of W1 plus W2 here, you will get W4. And W4 has to be 142 minus 106, which has to be 36. So this is supposed to come out 36. And once you got W4 is 36, we can find a W5 also and W5 has to be 30. So individual weights has to be 30, 40, 50, 36 and 56. Now we have to go back and see from here what we can decode. We know number one, 2A is equal to B plus E. If 2A is equal to B plus E, the meaning of this A is lying between B and E. So only numbers will satisfy this equation are 30, 40 and 50. Here, what we can fix here, a has to be 40. So 40 is equal to A. Now 30 and 50 are representing either B or E. But what we know from here, we know E is not the lightest one. So when E is not the lightest one, then E cannot have 30 because 30 is the weight of the lightest girl. So E is supposed to have 50 here. So 50 is equal to E from here. 
Now 30 is left out for B. So B is supposed to be 30. So now we are left with only D and C. As we know from this equation, weight of D is greater than C. So C has to be 36 and D has to be 56. So you can see how easily we decoded this particular caselet. So all the caselets based upon that are decoding are easy caselets. You are supposed to attempt these caselets in round 1 in your paper. So let's move towards questions and see how we can approach questions here. So here we go. First question is, what is the weight of heaviest girl? So immediately we can say, weight of heaviest girl is 56. Second question, what is the weight of B? Weight of B is 30. And finally we can say, what is the weight of E? E is equal to 50. So questions are anyway easy, but case rate was slightly moderate. We can say easy to moderate to solve this particular case rate when you are following a certain pattern which we are discussing in each and every case rate. Thank you so much and thanks a lot.